Hello, uh, welcome back. This is Ken once again. Uh, for the info lang po sa lahat, uh, binago ko na po yung name ng channel ko. Before, it's a uh, Ken Toys Fishing Channel. And now, I changed it to Ken Toys Outdoor Adventure. So, lahat po ng mga outdoor adventures namin dito sa Japan, uh, I will share it with you guys. <coughs> so, Today, uh, we, we will be unboxing uh, an offshore rod that I bought from Amazon. Uh, na po. So, without further ado, let's, let's do it. So this rod is from Major Craft. Yeah. And uh, this is from the Cross Stage series. Yeah, uh, here. Cross Stage series. Yeah, ocean casting. Yes. So this rod is a skipjack model. So, ang main target po ng rod na ito ay skipjack tuna or bolito or tawag dito sa Japan is katsu. So, skipjack tuna. So, this is a two-piece rod. Um, so, the model name of this rod is CRXC762M. So, from the cross stage series, to play for casting rod offshore and skipjack model. So, explain ko lang po, uh, 762M, 762M, there, or can you see it? Okay, so, you make sabihin po ng 762M, 76 is the full length of the rod is 7 feet 6 inches and the 2 is the 2 piece means 2 piece and the M is the power of the rod medium power okay, so I have 3 reasons why I bought this rod but ito po napili kong bilhin so compared sa mga famous brands the market so unang una is cheaper than other brands leading brands it's cheaper but has great uh, excellent quality runs so <clears throat> major craft po ay uh, mag magaganda po yung mga runs nila tsaka Maganda po yung mga ratings as I have searched the internet. Even though they are very cheap but quality. Okay. So the next reason is the number two reason is the lower weight capacity. Um, for the info lang po sa Inyo, uh, when I when we go offshore casting for skipjack or bonito or katso in Japanese or tulingan po ang Tagalog ang kalimita po ginagamit na lure or metal jig or uh, pencil is 30 grams to 42 grams that's normally na ginagamit nila so Kaya ko po ito napili because ang lower weight capacity po nito is from 20 grams to 80 grams maximum. So, meron ka pong 
flexibility of your rod, uh, of your lure na pwede yung magamit. So, in case na kailangan mo ng medyo malaki na lure, so you can still use it. Maybe 60 grams or 70 grams. In case, it depends on the situation. But normally, ang ginagamit lang po is 30 grams to 40 grams. So, if needed, a bigger weight, a bigger lure, you can still use it. So, the third reason uh, why I bought this rod is that <clears throat> the line capacity. Yeah. So, normally po, I've done research and tinatanong ko po yung mga captain ng barko na sinasakyan namin. Nag-offshore kami. Uh, the, safest, the safest line, the PE line na gagamitin for tulingan casting or skipjack casting is number 3 PE number 3 uh, that's the safest line uh, below that line number 3 line you'll have a bigger chance na to have a line break so the safest though is number 3 and now the line capacity of this rod is from PE number 2 the maximum of number 4 still you have the flexibil flexibility of your rod regarding on your line what do you want to use so for me I'm planning to use the PE number 3 line on this rod so if ever uh, kailangan mong gumamit ng number 4 or bigger than number 3 or 3.5 or number 4 you can still do it so that's the main reason tatlong reason lang po bakit ko binili itong rod na to cool. uh, of course the major craft rods most of the rods uh, uses the cross force technology cross force po uh, Cross force means yung wrapping po nila uh, like nag xx po yung uh, yung style ng wrapping nila to make the rod to have more strength and durability whenever you hook up a big fish so hindi hindi po ito mababali agad As ito po example po ng cross force ayun ko if nakikita nyo ba uh, yung wrapping nila is nag x po yan nag x here also here ok so <clears throat> and bat handle the eva handle para maganda po yung grip natin here yes saka and also, one of the features of this rod is also, it has a double lock mechanism. Usually, ito isa lang po yung lock ng real seat. This one. So, if you lock this one, you, st you still have another lock. A double lock. So that, kahit cast ka parang cast hindi po maglulusin itong lock nyo. So, itong lock nya. There. When you lock this one, you also have to lock this another, the second lock, double lock mechanism. So, it makes the main lock of your real seat more stable and hindi po siya naglulusin. Yeah, this is the best part of this rod. Yes, double lock mechanism. Okay, so I think it's very lightweight. Oh, oh, ganda. Oh, da. So, yung pop cross stage series ocean casting skip check model. And also, hmm, 
guide spot is still Fuji Fuji guides and uh, the action is regular regular pass so, ayan po. Uh, so I'm looking forward to use this rod for our next offshore adventure so stay tuned for my next video and let's see kung kakahuli ba tayo ng maraming tuna nito skip jack or tulingan po so thank you for watching see you in my next video guys so please don't forget to subscribe peace